So let's hold the conversation for just a second. I do have breaking news regarding the UAW strike. Yet another thing we need to keep our eyes on. Phil LeBeau has the latest. What do we know, Phil? You know, Scott, if you want to see how far apart Ford and the UAW are, earlier today, Jim Farley, CEO of Ford, along with other Ford executives, held a briefing with reporters and analysts talking about the fact that another Ford plant, the UAW, is on strike. In that briefing, he said this is a case where he believes the UAW calling these strikes premeditated. They're holding the uh, representation of future EV battery plants as hostage in these negotiations. I mean, he blasted the UAW. Well, now the UAW is out from with a statement from C, uh, President Sean Fain, and here's what he says. Listen to this carefully. I don't know why Jim Farley is lying about the state of negotiations. It could be because he failed to show up for bargaining this week, as he has for most of the past 10 weeks. If he were there, he'd know we gave Ford a comprehensive proposal on Monday and still haven't heard back. He would also know that we are far apart on core economic proposals like retirement security and post-retirement health care, as well as job security in this EV transition, which Farley himself says is going to cut 40 percent of our members' jobs. Like a good neighbor, we're available 24-7. Name the time and the place you want to settle a fair contract for our members and we'll be there. That last uh, point about being a good neighbor is in reference to Jim Farley saying that Sean Fain is on TV more than the State Farm guys on TV. Uh, bottom line is this, Scott. We're nowhere close, nowhere close to a contract being reached between Ford and the UAW. And basically, you can say that with the other automakers as well. Long ways to go before we see this resolved. And as I've said for some time, Scott, do not be surprised if we see more strikes in the weeks to come. Yeah. Phil, thank you for the update there.